Hello and welcome to the next class on Airport Utility. This is going to be changing the name of the network and the password. So let's open it up. Once again, we're in our Utilities folder. And that's in the Go Utilities. Here it is. My airport that I'm using is on the left-hand column. And this is called Smith Airport Exchange. This is an Apple product. This is where Apple's settings are. If you're using a Linksys or something else, it is not done this way. But this is for the Apple product. So I select it, I'm going to go manual setup. It remembers my password because I've been in here before. If it prompts you for a password, you have to type in the password for your base station. It's not for your network, it's for the base station when it was originally set up. If you can't remember it, then you do have to do a reset. So let's just continue like we did know it. Now we'll be doing a class on resetting it, but for now we'll just assume that we can get into the network. So here's a summary of it. it. tells me about it. We did this on the last chapter. Now the base station tab is where we want to be. So I'm in airport, then base station. This is the name of my base station. It is not the name of the network because you might have multiple base stations. You might have one in the main airport and one in the living room or something like that. So this is the name of this particular one. And this is the password to make the setting changes like we're doing right now. Usually they're different. So you could type in another password if you wanted to. This key right here will give you an encrypted one here. One memorable so you can kind of remember it. Or different ones that are very, very cryptic. And you can see this goes up to 31 digits and it makes it very, very cryptic. I won't bother with that, but that's what the password is, and this is once again to make setting changes. Now if we go over to the wireless option, I'm not going to save this, so let's revert and go to the wireless one. This is your network name. So up here where it tells my network name, it's Smith's Network, this reflects that, and you can rename this and allow it to be extended, meaning if we did have more than one airport, it would join this and boost the signal to a further point in the house. Right now, this has no wireless security, there's no password. So if we wanted to add a password, we would go down here and select one of these. WPA slash WPA2 is a, is a nice one for the house. And it's asking for our password, and then we'll verify it. And we do the same thing, type it in, verify it. There is a one that will randomly select it for you and give you some numbers or what have you. you. Won't bother changing this. Once you make any changes at all, whether you name the network something else or change a password, you do one thing. You do need to hit this update button. And keep in mind, if you update the network, you'll lose your network for 30 seconds or a minute or so because it changes all the settings and the airport itself will flash you know, amber, the yellowish color until it's done and now we'll go back to green. So that's how you change the password or the network name or the name of the airport. Thank you very much.